welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I am remaking my Bay Rum Man Soap. It is a really nice scent. It is super manly and I love it. It's my second favourite man soap. So come with me and I'll show you how I make it. Squee! So first things first, I've got my cooled oils with some goat's milk in and I've got my cooled lye. Everything's at room temperature or between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius and everything's at the same temperature. So the oils and lye are at the same temperature. I'm hardly mixing at all here before I go ahead and portion out because I'm going to try putting dry mica powder straight into my base. I don't often do a lot of colour in my base. I usually just whiten the base and then do a little bit of colour. But I thought for the soap, because it's bay rum, it should be blue. So I've dumped in the last of my blue azure mica all the last that I could get out of there, shakey shakey shake the bag and get every last little bit out and I'm putting a little tiny bit into this other jug as well so that I'll have a lightened greeny blue that I can swirl into the blue base does that make sense? I think it does so I've just gone off and put a little bit of olive oil into the bag that the um, Azure Mica was in and mixed it all around in there, rubbed it all together and now I'm dumping that in as that's what you can see going in right now is the um, just me being frugal again trying to get every last little bit of colour out that I can. So I think that I've achieved quite a nice blue there, I'm pretty happy with that and my little accent colour there, I'm just putting a little bit of the base in there to try and make that colour a bit bolder. Again we don't want them to match, we want one to be much lighter than the other. So I'm putting a little bit of titanium dioxide in there now to try and lighten it and make it you know just how I want it. And I'm just going to do a really basic drop swirl and then come through and hang a swirl up. So I saved back a little bit of my blue azure mica and I'm just dripping it all over the top now with my pipette so I can do a nice pretty swirly top. At the moment it looks like we've got a about a, like a sky blue and a sea green maybe like a foam sea green. Those look like the two colours we managed to achieve. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they look tomorrow after they've you know sat overnight and saponified. Will they still look like this? Will the green go bluer? Will the blue be darker? Who knows? That's one thing I love about soap I must admit it always keeps me on my feet. So my little drops of oil are all getting swirled now and I love the way this looks. It is so pretty. I made sure to take a couple of photos and I'll include those at the end as well 
close-ups of this little swirl. It's become one of my favourite things to do on top of my cold process soap now. I make sure that I've got a little bit of mica mixed up in oil and on hand in a bunch of different colours. And when I finish making soap, I can just drip some on and then I can do this really cool swirl. It looks stunning and then any oil that's in it gets saponified and you're just left with this beautiful mica on the top. So I'm going ahead now and placing my toppers on. I made little blue dice, but I didn't quite make enough. So two bars are just getting little blue round balls instead. But I love these little dice, so I'm definitely going to make them again because they look so cute and they worked really well on the soap. So yay! <laughs> so here's how the soap looks now that it's all finished. A bit of a close-up for you guys. And I'm really happy, you know, it's simple, but that's what you want for a man's soap. They don't want all the pretty, floofy stuff. They just want something that works good. That's the most important thing. At least that's what my husband always tells me. So it sits overnight, and I'm ready to cut it the next day. But it got very, very, very hard. And I'm not entirely sure why. So I can't use my multi-bar cutter, and I'm stuck trying to remove it. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. So two hands, and I'm just sliding it out. And I'll be able to use those little um, marks as guides when I go through and cut with my little marble single bar cutter. Um, this is just a cheese cutter, so if you're looking for a soap cutter and you want something cheaper, a cheese cutter is a good way to go. You do have to be careful when you're using these. You have to go slowly, make sure that your log is lined up straight on the cutter so you don't get wonky bars. And having toppers like I do on this batch really helps because it gives you a really clear indication as to where you're cutting. And hopefully I will get nice even bars. The only thing I'm not happy about is how it's sort of flaking like right at the edge of the soap there when each time I cut the bar there's kind of like a flake of soap that's coming off I think just because it's so hard and when I hold it up to the camera you can sort of see them they're falling off or on the edges but it gives it sort of a I guess you might say rustic but I'm not really that happy it's not as professional as I want it to look so when they're all cured up I'll go through and bevel them probably and keep those shavings to roll into my soapy dough for more of those dice to put on top so it all works out in the end I guess and the greeny sort of soap has gone a little bit sort of darker oh my camera battery must have run out and I ended there I'm sorry guys but here's that close-up of the wet soap that I was telling you about doesn't that look so pretty I love it and a close-up of both the soaps with their pretty toppers on as well so yeah all I was trying to say is that when I bevel my soaps they will look much nicer than they do right now in this photo <laughs> and that that green sort of definitely stuck as a different color but it didn't really stay green if you know what I mean still pretty and I'm happy so this week I would like to highlight Ilma Hifney and her beautiful bold smoke rose that she shared in our group over on Facebook and it's called Star Soaps Family so if you want to come and join our family on Facebook and share your creations with us we would love it I love seeing them and then I can keep the photos and put them in my videos and give you a shout out so squee well I hope you enjoyed watching me make this soap and if you did and you want to see more like it, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button, become a member of our Star Soaps family, and feel the soapy love. Bye!